Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyendra Kumar. In this video, you will learn how to create beautiful and stunning thermometer chart in Microsoft Excel. So as you are seeing my screen, I have created this beautiful chart which is connected with this data. Here we have John, East, West, North, South and service level. If we will change the data, let's say for East zone, we will take 85% then this will be changed automatically or if we will take only 25% then it will be changed automatically. So we will learn in this video how we can create this stunning thermometer chart in Microsoft Excel. This chart can be used in your business presentation or business dashboard. I'm going to add a new worksheet here and I will copy this data and I will paste this data here. To create this chart, I need a support column that is the max value. So here we will put the max value of the service level which is 100%. Now I will fill this down. If you are taking any other matrix, you can put here max value accordingly. Now I will select this data and I will go to the insert. Then I will go to the charts and here. I will insert a simple 2D clustered column chart, this one. Now first of all, I will right click on the axis and go to the format axis. Here, I will take minimum value as 0 and the maximum value I will take 1 because our maximum value is 100%. Now close this format axis window. I would like to remove the grid lines from the worksheet. So I'll go to the view and uncheck the grid lines. Now here we will take a support from PowerPoint presentation. I have this PowerPoint presentation 2013 open. Here I will insert a shape which is simple rectangle this one. And just drag this shape like this. Then again go to the insert and save. This time I will take this oval shape and just click here. So this oval has been created. Reduce the size. It should look like a thermometer. So we will select both the shape. Go to the format align. Align this center. Once this is aligned properly. Then go to the merge shapes. And here we will click on union. So you can see this is only one shape now. Copy this shape go to your excel sheet paste this shape here so this is a shape not a picture reduce the size of this shape just keep this size make a copy of this and paste it here now for the first one we will go to the format save fill we will take this color which is light blue and the same outline color will take the light blue for the second shape, we will take the outline color light blue and the shape fill will take no fill. Now for the first one, we will give some shape effects. So we will go to the shape effects and preset and here we will select this preset which is preset save in. Alright, so now we have created our shape. So we will copy this shape, the first one. Now just double click on this blue bar the first one for east then you can see only this particular column is selected now paste this here control b you can see that shape has been pasted here similarly we will copy this one this is for max copy and select this max bar for east and press control b to paste it here all right now we will change the color of this shape so i'll go to the format and I will select different color. This time I will choose this color which is golden accent 4. And the outline of the second shape I will give the same like golden accent. Alright now I will copy this and select for west this blue one. Just double click. You can see only this blue one is selected and press ctrl B to paste this here. Now select this shape copy and paste this here now we will change the color again this time we will take this purple color and here for outline we'll take the purple color Let's copy this select this blue one double click and paste this here and this time copy this and select this max for north and paste this here we'll change the color again this time we will fill dark red color this one and similarly for shape outline of the second shape dark red this one 
copy this shape click on the blue for south copy this shape double click and select and paste this here now i will select the first shape just double click here only this shape is selected i'll go to the format data point window click on fill and line and here i'll scroll it down and i will select stack and scale width and make sure here should be one this one is for 100 percent because our max value is 100 percent if your max value is different you can put that number here all right now i'll select the second bar just double click on this again go to the format data point scroll it down and select stack and scale width make sure here again should be one because our max is 100 percent now we will do this activity one by one for each column Alright, so we have done this activity. Now just right click here, go to the format data series, and here series overlap we will take as 100%. So you can see these shapes are creating speedometers. Now we will change the size of the chart, remove this vertical axis, chart title, and legend and grid lines also go to the format data series again and here the gap width will change to adjust the chart like this around 120 and select the plot area change the height of the plot area because we will keep our data label on the top of thermometers now just select this max value right click and click on add data labels data labels have been added for max value but we want to display here the service label so what i will do right click go to the format data label and here we will select value from cells and we will give this range just click on ok and here i will uncheck value and show letter lines you can see data label value has been changed now i'll go to the home and here i'll change the font i will take the font like uh, Verlin sense fp and i will give the size around 14 this one now i'll select one data label only just double click here and uh, font color i'll give the theme color for this light blue and for this i'll give the this one similarly here all right so now select the entire chart go to the format here i'll take the shape fill as no fill shape outline as no outline and i will select this horizontal axis and i'll choose shape outline as no outline make it bold and color will take black now we will create a tray like this so that we can place this chart in a tray so i'll go to the insert and i will insert a shape this time i will take this shape which is rounded rectangle just drag this shape here like this and you can change corner radius also keep this shape here so first of all i will change the shape color i'll go to the format shape outline i'll choose no outline shape fill i'll take this gray color right click go to the format shape and here i'll go to the effects in the effects first of all i'll go to the 3d rotation and i'll change the presets choose under perspective this one which is perspective relaxed by rotation i'll choose around 300 now i'll go to the 3d format here top bevel i'll choose this one soft round and then depth i'll choose around 12 or 15 so let's say i'm taking 12 just place this shape here right click and click on send to back you can see this chart has been placed or the thermometers have been placed inside the tray all right now just select this chart and the shape together right click and make it group now this is one chart only so friends that is how you can create this stunning thermometer chart i hope you have enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching